Thank you for choosing Hard Equipment. Blaze, Rotisserie Training. Morning Startup. You will need latex or vinyl gloves, aluminum foil, and a towel. Turn on the hood and the hood lights. Wrap the center shaft with aluminum foil, making sure to cover the center half of the drive plate. Set the thermostat to 7, the timer to 30 minutes, and pull the red button to start preheating the machine. The oven must be fully preheated before product may be loaded into it. It takes about 15 minutes to preheat in the morning and less time during the day once the oven is already in use. Here you see the ignition trying to light the burner. A safety lockout occurs if the burner fails to light after three tries. Note that each attempt takes 45 to 55 seconds. Should such an event occur, please refer to the safety lockout instructions in your owner's manual. A safety lockout is most likely caused by a wet burner. Open the door, wipe the burner dry. Make sure the drain valve is closed and open the water inlet valve. Fill the water pan to the top of the overflow drain. Once you complete this step, close the water inlet valve. Skewering chickens using the optional horizontal cart. Required tools, latex or vinyl gloves, skewers, skewer cart and a preparation table. The skewer must be placed to make an upside down V shape. Correct skewering requires the chicken to be inserted neck first and breast up through the pointed tip of the skewer. Always remember to keep the breast and tight legs facing up and insert neck first. It is important to remove interior fat from the chicken prior to skewering. Skewering chickens using the optional vertical cart. In order to prevent the chicken from spinning and falling off during the cooking cycle, proper skewering is very important. While skewering using the vertical cart, remember to move the interior fat and push the chicken neck first, breast and legs up, down the skewer. Cooking procedures. Loading skewers using the optional horizontal cart. Do not load fresh product into the rotisserie until the cooking cycle has finished and all product has been removed. Press the green button to rotate the drive to load your next skewer. Load by inserting the pointed tip of the skewer into the hole on the left hand plate and by placing the hex end in the socket on the right. For even cooking and uniform browning, make sure the chicken breast is facing the operator while loading the skewers. Make sure to secure any dangling wings or legs. Set the desired time and temperature for your product. Wipe the duct controller and the door handle to prevent cross contamination. Loading skewers using the optional vertical cart. Do not load fresh product into the rotisserie until the cooking cycle has finished and all product has been removed. Press the green button to rotate the drive to load your next skewer. Load by inserting the pointed tip of the skewer into the hole on the left hand plate and by placing the hex end in the socket on the right. For even cooking and uniform browning, make sure the chicken breast is facing the operator while loading the skewers. Make sure to secure any dangling wings or legs. Set the desired time and temperature for your product.
Wipe the controller and the door handle to prevent cross contamination. If your unit is equipped with the optional smoker box, refer to your owner's manual for instructions. End of cooking, checking temperature. Measure the temperature in the breast of several chicken on different skewers to make sure that it meets your guidelines. If not at the desired temperature, add 5 to 10 minutes on the timer. Checking final temperature and using the hold mode. When the buzzer sounds, check the temperature again. If the desired temperature has been reached, proceed to unloading. For hold mode, set the thermostat to below 1 and the timer for up to 30 minutes. Unloading skewers using the horizontal cart. Require tools, latex or vinyl gloves, heat resistant gloves and a skewer cart. Wearing heat resistant gloves, remove the skewer out of the rotisserie and place it onto the cart reserved for cooked product. Lift the pointed end of the skewer slightly, shifting it to the left. The hex end on the right will drop out of the socket into your hand. Open the water inlet valve to raise the water level and skim off the grease down the overflow. Make sure the water is not overflowing out of the oven door. Close the water inlet valve. Remember to wipe the inside of the door glass between loads. Unloading skewers using the landing tray. Required tools. Latex or vinyl gloves, heat resistant gloves and landing trays. For unloading using the landing tray, follow the same procedure. Make sure that the skewer is placed on the tray with the chicken breast facing up to prevent damaging the skin. Nightly cleaning. Required tools, latex or vinyl gloves, tongs, degreaser spray bottle, cleaning brushes and paper towels. Remove the aluminium foil from the center shaft. Open the drain valve to drain the greasy water from the water pan. Remove all chicken parts from the water pan. Open the water valve and use the brush to rinse the pan clean. Wipe down with a cloth and close the water valve. Spray degreaser on the center shaft, the walls, the side plates and the water pan. Use the green button to rotate the drive. Be careful to never spray the back burner with degreaser. Allow the degreaser to work for 10 minutes. Use the various brushes to clean stubborn deposits on the drive plates, inside and around the sockets and the wall surfaces. Use the green button to rotate the drive to clean behind the drive plates. Again, close the drain valve and open the water valve. Add water and begin rinsing. Rinse the drive plates inside and around the sockets and the wall surfaces. Again, use the green button to rotate the drive while rinsing. Wipe the water pan, drive plate, support plate and center shaft with a towel. Carefully clean the temperature probe. When you have finished, Open the drain, add some water and use it to rinse the remaining degreaser from the water pan. Wipe the door glass clean using degreaser on a wet towel. Note that the door has two panes of glass that can be pulled apart to clean between them if required. Heating up the oven after cleaning will dry it out. Set the thermostat to 7, the timer for 10 minutes and pull the red button. At the end of the 10 minutes, push in the red button to shut off the oven. Weekly burner cleaning. 
Weekly cleaning will help maintain the rotisserie's burner and will reduce the occurrences of safety lockout. The burner should be verified in the morning at the start of each week when the oven is cold. Required tools latex or vinyl gloves, brass bristle brush, paper or cloth towels. Close the main gas valve, then disconnect the rotisserie's electrical cord from the wall outlet. Using the brush, clean the top surface of the burner. Be careful not to damage the igniter or the flame sensor located at the two ends of the burner. Using a towel, wipe the burner to remove any remaining dirt. Reconnect the electrical cord and open the main gas valve. Set the thermostat at 7 and the timer for 5 minutes. Pull the red button to start the unit and, while standing in front of the rotisserie, observe the burner ignition process. Verify that the flame is carried all the way across the burner tube. If the flame is not carried across the tube from one side to the other, you should verify that the burner holes are open at the point where the flame stops. Again, close the main gas valve and disconnect the rotisserie's electrical cord from the wall outlet. Allow the burner to cool. Then use a paper clip to unblock and clean the carbon buildup inside the blocked burner holes. After opening the holes, use the bristle brush to again clean the top surface of the burner. Ensure that there are no deposits remaining. When you have finished, wipe clean the water pan prior to ignition. Again, reconnect the electrical cord and open the main gas valve. Then set the thermostat at 7 and the timer for 5 minutes. Pull the red button to start the unit and while standing in front of the rotisserie, watch that the burner lights evenly across its length. Replacing light bulbs. To replace a burnt light bulb, push in the red button to turn the oven off. Unscrew the glass cover on the bad bulb and pull the bulb out of the socket. Push in the new bulb. Screw the cover back on and pull the red button to check that the light works.